एवरीवन माय नेम इज मृदुल एंड वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल नाउ फॉर टुडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू बी डूइंग अ पार्ट थ्री ऑफ माय बाइंग द चीपेस्ट आइटम्स फ्रॉम डैश सीरीज सो द फर्स्ट वन वाज वेयर आई बॉट द चीपेस्ट आउटफिट फ्रॉम शीन um the second one was where i bought the cheapest makeup from nykaa and today i'm going to be sharing with you guys all the cheap like the cheapest skin care that i bought from nykaa now i know not like an outfit or makeup you can't really test out and tell um skin care if it works in like one shot which is why i bought these products like over a month ago i've been testing these out my friend has been like helping me test these products out she's like a skin care genius so i gave her a few products to try out for like long time and she's been using them every single day so i'm going to be giving you guys my review on all of these products so let's just get started all right so if this is the first video that you're watching of this series i think i should explain to you guys what and how i go about it so basically i go on the nykaa's app i type out a category so for today we're doing skin care so say for example face wash i'll type out face wash and then i'll go to the sort category and then um add in from the lowest price range to the highest price range and whatever pops up like the first product that pops up in that category is the product that i have to buy and um that product cannot be on sale so i have to buy the cheapest mrp retailing product i think there are a total of 10 or more categories so i think i'll start with like the first one that we do use which is a face wash that's the first thing that you do when you wake up so the cheapest face wash available on nykaa was the pons pure white anti pollution and purity face wash now this retail for rupees 30 this is actually a very very old product i remember this launching when i was in school like in 9th or 10th standard so this has been around for a while i remember buying it even back then and using it so right off the bat this product is marketed as pure white this is like right where um it gets like minus 50 points from my side but i did use the product and i will say when you wash it um it makes you look white why i'll tell you for like a few seconds is because it makes your skin so dry like it just rips all the moisture off of your face and within a few minutes all of that oil is back because i have extremely oily skin so this face wash is no good really because um if you have dry skin stay away and the fact that pons like still does the whole whitening thing is just ridiculous so a uh, definitely a thumbs down from my side i don't think it even passes as a mediocre face wash step number 2 is a face cream now the cheapest face cream available on nykaa was vico turmeric vso skin cream this retails for rupees 37 again a product that um i've actually used and it's been around for a while now um i used to use this for like 2 years when i was in college every day i would use this kind of like my foundation like the smell just makes it's so nostalgic to even smell it and i have really really oily skin so when i would apply it it would really like mattify my skin give my uh face kind of like an even glow i don't know how because it has absolutely no tinting the smell is amazing um i would powder it up like with some um regular powder actually i would use talcum powder on top of this and it would be a great um, combination for me it works as a great moisturizer even if you have oily skin or dry skin so i would give this actually a thumbs up after moisturizer comes sunscreen and the sunscreen that we have is by pons and it is the spf 30 wala sunscreen and this retails for rupees 99 somehow even this product i have used in the past but just to kind of jog my memory i did use it again and I had the same results, so it's a good sunscreen. Not, like not bad if you have oily skin. Um, kind of stay away because it makes my skin very chip chipa. But if you have dry skin, use it. Or even if you have like medium combination skin, I think it'll work for you. It doesn't give you like a major white cast. थोड़ा बहुत देता है, but not too much. It's not too bad. It's an okay sort of a sunscreen. Next we have a classic. product um it's the himalayas lip balm this just smells so good but uh, what i feel about like the product in itself is when you apply it it feels nice it smells nice it moisturizes your lips but the minute you eat something or drink something it just wipes like right off and 
your lips are no more moisturized so i feel like while it's on it's great but the minute um like it wears out there's no effect later on next product is by biotic it's their papaya face scrub and it retails for rupees 60 to start off it smells really nice i'm talking about the actual exfoliating particles neither are they too mild nor are they too harsh so i think i would give this face scrub a thumbs up because my skin felt really nice after scrubbing now the next category is makeup remover and um the like the cheapest product available in terms of makeup remover were these makeup wipes these are by the brand called aloe extract no i think the brand's called ginny clea cleansing and makeup remover wipes there are total of 10 wipes in here and it retails for rupees 30 Now first of all I don't use makeup wipes to remove my makeup but anyway for the sake of this video I picked this product out and um I will say it's a good makeup removing wipe I do like it but I would not recommend it to you guys simply because it's like the makeup remover wipes are not degradable it just doesn't make sense it's always a better option to go and buy a face wash and i think that like the himalaya neem face wash works really well for me as a makeup remover and then i top it up with a micella water just to like double cleanse whereas this i think overall mehenga padega because this is for 30 rupees and there are only 10 wipes so you can only remove your makeup 10 times you get what i'm saying i think it will just be cheaper in general but as a product in itself It's a good makeup removing wipe I have to say. Now before we move on to like the night time skincare products, I have two um face masks. So the first one is like an actual face mask and the second one is a sheet mask. Let's do the face mask first. It is by this brand called Ikagai, Ikai, sorry. I don't know how to say it, but it's in this organic fruity surprise face mask berry flavor. and uh, this retails for 85 rupees which is kind of expensive i think you can get just one use out of it i actually haven't used this product even once because i wanted to do it with you guys on camera i feel like face masks and sheet masks if they are like if the product is good you can tell a difference within the first time so let's try this on i'm really excited because uh, according to the packaging it's going to be a purple face mask and as you can see this face mask is not purple it does have like a hint of purple but it's definitely not as purple as it shows on the packaging but coming back to the actual product it smells really nice smells like a berry face pack because that's essentially what it is and um the after effects like once i was done washing the face pack my skin felt really nice and cleansed um almost like all the gunk had been sucked out of my pores so i would give this a face pack a thumbs up and the face mask or sheet mask number 2 is by lotus and this sheet mask was for 85 rupees now i made my friend try the sheet mask out and i used it as well like on my face and both of us had very very similar opinion about this product so a uh, both of us felt that the product wasn't wet enough so when you use a sheet mask i feel like it needs to be drenched in like serum so when we put it on our face it just was dry already rather than it becoming dry over time like our skin absorbing all the serum it was just very dry and the second thing that we felt was it did absolutely nothing in fact i kind of felt like my skin was more dull if that's even possible so yeah i mean just don't try the sheet mask out it's for 85 rupees i feel like if you just put 10 more rupees you can get a face shop ka sheet mask which actually work okay so we have our last two products both of them are skin care related products let's start with an eye cream now this eye cream my friend siddhi and her mom both have been using for a month now so the first thing that they said about the eye cream was that it smells like nivea i smelled it too it smells really nice it smells like a very um, nostalgic familiar smell the second thing is that it's very lightweight but at the same time it like hydrates your skin like your under eye area really well it's hydrating it's moisturizing and also siddhi said that this like the eye cream shows a difference like you can tell a difference within 2 to 3 days but she's been using it for a month now and she said that definitely buy it because it's so cheap i think it is for 70 bucks for an eye cream i think it's great clearly it works so definitely a thumbs up and the last product that we have is a night cream again this retails for 70 rupees the reason why i didn't personally use this night 
night cream is because um i've been going through like my skin has been going through a really bad like phase and i had to go back to my dermat and he's asked me to not use like different products basically so um i thought i would let her use it and I, anyway she's just way more consistent than me so she would be able to give you guys like a like a complete review so this is what she had to say the first thing is that it's too heavy it's too oily it's greasy it's sticky so maybe if you have extremely extremely parched and dry skin maybe then try it out she has pretty normal to dry skin tone actually skin type um and still when she woke up in the morning her skin just felt like gross and oily clearly it was too oily it didn't get absorbed into her skin so it literally just sat kind of like a layer on top of her skin doing nothing and yeah the last point is that it made no difference to her skin now this night cream is for 52 rupees but just because it's for 52 rupees it doesn't like make sense to buy it because it does nothing so definitely give it a pass i don't think it's a good um, night cream but definitely try out the eye cream i just i've heard so many good things about it from her so i think i'm going to start using it but yeah i think that's it we're done with all 10 categories of skincare products i really hope this video was um like helpful because i know a lot of you guys are um like just starting college and you want more affordable skincare options so i hope this worked well for you guys as always everything that i've mentioned will be linked in the description box below i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys are enjoying this 22 video series in september and i'll see you in my next video Bye. And for today's giveaway, I'm going to be giving away these headphones. And in order to win this giveaway, all you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and go on to my Instagram and follow all the other rules that are going to be mentioned in the caption. And that's about it.